Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm, I'm Kimberly. And majority of us, when we're looking at our submissions, we pretty much utilize the spreadsheet view, but there's four others available to us. Calendar view, upload view, cards view, and report view. Let's go. Before we do anything, let's choose a form to work with. I'm gonna choose my welcome form. I'm gonna to head to our submissions. And this is that view I was talking about. This is the spreadsheet view. But to access those other views, all you have to do is come up to the top to add a tab and you get to choose your preferred view. Now, calendar view is going to be really helpful if you have any type of date field in your form, like RSVP or a calendar reservation. So let's go ahead and choose calendar. So since this particular form it didn't have any type of date tied to it, I just chose the submission date. So let's go back in time and we can see when they filled out the form. But this view is really nice for appointments or reservations, like I mentioned before. You can see everyone's appointment at a glance. Next, let's look at upload view. I'm gonna choose add a tab again. We'll choose uploads. From here, we can choose the title of the card. You can choose from any of the fields that you have. I think the name is a great one for this. Using this view is really useful if your form had an upload field, like you wanted them to upload a picture or a PDF. Now, if your form doesn't, it's okay. You can still definitely use this field. So for me, all of these submissions do not have any uploads, but Let's say that I want to add an upload to each one from the back end. So for me, because I have no uploads on any of them, I am going to choose to turn this off because if I leave it on, because there's no downloads, nothing is going to appear. So I'm gonna make sure to turn this off and create. And there you go, we can see all of my submissions here. Now let's say, again, I want to upload something on the back end. We can click this upload button and we can add attachments that way. All right, next up is the card view. I'm gonna go ahead and click add a tab cards. This card view allows you to see very specific information that you choose at a glance. So I don't necessarily need all of these things. Maybe I really just want to know the name and the email, if they subscribed, and if we have added any tags to create. And there you have it. You can see the information that you need to see at a glance in card view. Now, the last view is called report view, and this is kind of a visual representation of your form submissions. Go ahead and click reports, next, next. Now we have three different options. We can choose blank and start from scratch. We can choose extended report where a single chart is going to be displayed or we can choose a compact report where two charts are shown per page. I'm gonna go ahead and choose compact report. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so over on the right hand side, we can see it's a four page document. So we can click on each one to take a look. We have the name and the email. Next, we have some charts. Another thing with this view is we can choose to publish it, which will allow us to send this view to someone else to look at. We can either choose to send it via link or we can send it to them by their email. And that is it, super simple. If you have any questions about utilizing these different views in your submissions tab, please let us know and I'll see you next time.